Hey there, Tall Man Clan, welcome back. We are in California. California! Sunny Southern California. Uh, we are at Mike Thompson RV. We're in Santa Fe Springs. We're gonna look at a Fusion, all right? This is a 2021. Um, this is model number 424. We haven't seen anything like this. We don't do a lot of uh, uh, toy haulers, but this one is special. So come on, let's take a look. Come on. But just, just look at this. I mean, you've got like this side deck that comes out with the awning. There's a TV outside, a couple of slides. I mean, it just it actually really looks cool just from standing there. But come on, let's get a look up in here. So here's your front storage compartment. Here's a, there's some um, computer elements or computerized, you got uh, like digital elements. Here's the brain for the digital elements, okay, right here. Your inverters here. Uh, there's just some electronics, but there's some decent storage up here. Um, not a ton, but you can put a few things up here. In front of this, this is normally where a lot of uh, fifth wheels you'll find propane. You don't find it here. This is where your batteries would go. So that would be your battery compartment, okay? Um, and I know we scroll back, if you see there's an awning, there's actually two separate awnings, which basically cover from here all the way to the back of the, uh, the coach. So you've got lots of awnings. So come on a little bit further. So this is kind of like, it's the main entrance when you're parked, but when you're driving, you can't use it. I'll talk about that in a minute. But as you see, this deck comes down, a, a separate set of stairs, which is great, and railings. There's a TV out here, a small little TV and some speakers and stuff. So just, just kind of a, a neat way to get into the RV. All right. As you can see, it's got three axles and it has upgraded suspension. It's got the CRE 3000. Right? Actually, Goodyear endurance tires too. I mean, super, super high end there. Here's actually, when you're driving down the road, going somewhere, if you need to get in, this is going to be your main entry because that deck will have been folded up into the side, so you can't get to that door. So that's something you just want to keep in mind that this is sort of the toy hauler part. We'll go inside in just a second, but you're going to need to leave access to be able to get in and out of the, uh, your coach if you need to while you're driving. Okay? Anyway, so let's go around. There's a storage box down here too, which is great. And here's the back deck. Right, so you got a side deck, you've got a back deck. I mean, it's just awesome. Now, this back deck is also your ramp to get your toys up in the toy hauler. So these jacks would be up. Um, if you see, there's a cable up there hanging down. That would not be attached. And this would just be a ramp. So you can use it to get your toys in and out. And then you can stabilize it. There's actually a level built in here to get it all leveled off. And then you got a nice party deck out back. Come on around. Now, in a lot of our videos, we talk about ladders. You can't obviously have a ladder on the back of the toy hauler, so they put it on the side. And what's nice is it's sort of collapsible, so it's tight against the RV, so when you're driving down the road, it's not sticking out. That's kind of cool. All right, so here's your fuel area. What I mean by fuel area is when you have a toy hauler, it's, been, uh, it's locked. Um, there's a, a, a tank where you can put um, unleaded fuel in. Um, so if you need to gas up your toys, you got like a mobile little gas station with you. So that's what's behind here is the pump and the, the nozzles for filling up your toys, okay? Here's your 50 amp connection for power, for powering the coach. And here's a good closer look at those tires. God, I mean, guys, I'm six foot four. These tires are huge. I mean, huge tires. Good Lord. Great look at that. Now your connection for your sewer is right here. So you can actually get to it easily, even with the slide out. The poles are not there, the poles are up in the wet bay, but just from connecting it and unconnecting it, you can actually get to it quite easy when the slide is up, because it's right there at the edge. Now, I didn't know, uh, mention before, but this has got frameless windows, guys, right? Beautiful frameless windows, really awesome. So when we come up to the front, this is your wet bay. All right, and I, I love that they have it separated. So again, you know, you're connecting water in there, it's possible to have a leak. We had one in ours not too long ago and uh, ours isn't separate. And so we, we actually saw it inside the coach. We're like, oh my God, there's water. We knew right where it was coming from. So it's great to have these separate bays. Now, I mentioned your pulls. Here are the pulls for your tanks. So you don't have to worry about crawling underneath to empty your tanks, your pulls are right here. 
Now, obviously, you can still see through to the other side of the storage. All right, slam, latches. Now, this also would be the other side where you would normally have propane, right? In, the, in most fifth wheels, you have some propane on one side, some propane on the other. But as you can see, this is your hydraulic uh, pump because this has um, a six-point equalizer system. They're all hydraulic. And so this is the pump, and this is the controller for it that's right here, okay, which is really nice. So when you're dealing with your truck, getting this on and off your truck, it's right here, all right? So uh, let's get a good look at the numbers, Lisa. Let's get up close there. So this is a gross vehicle weight of 20,000 pounds. So fully loaded out, you can go as uh, high as 20,000 pounds. When it's completely empty, it's 16,060 pounds. So you have almost a 4,000 pound cargo capacity between your personal items and your toys. So that's pretty cool. So come around to the front. Now this is where your propane tanks are, right here. You've got two 30 pounders sitting in there. And so, um, to be frank and honest, which I am with you guys in all of the videos, to me, I would find that personally a little bit challenging to having to take those tanks um, in and out of a compartment like that. That's just me personally, right? Um, when they're full, they get a little bit heavy and, and trying to wrangle them both into that space might be a little challenging. L let me know what y'all think. Do you think it would be challenging to get the uh, propane tanks in and out of there? Uh, let me know. Um, this one, by the way, this has a propane, or propane, propane, it's protein. <laughs> this has a generator already mounted in there. Look at that. It's got a uh, Onan 5500. So this is already ready to go. So you actually could go anywhere at any time because you don't need to be hooked up to power because you have a generator already installed, right? And yet one more storage compartment, which is absolutely huge. I don't know if you can see, but it goes way up in there, Lisa. So obviously you're just hampered by the, the opening, but you can stack stuff way high up in there, which is cool, okay? Storage, storage, storage. Then you got your pin box. We got the Rotaflex upgraded pin box. So yeah, let's go inside. Come on, I know you all want to go, come on. Well, we're almost inside. All right, so look, so here's your entrance. So again, it being a side deck, if you wanted to put a couple chairs out here, you could do that to watch TV outside. There's a 15 inch TV. It's always mounted out here. It's got its own little compartment. They've got speakers. So if you're wanting to do that, it's great to have this little space. There's an awning, so you have your shade. It's pretty cool. So come on in. So you come through that door, you come right into the actual real living room and sort of kitchen area. And it's got this little island. And what I like about the little island is it's got seats, these locks, no, no, and they just sort of fold in and out. And so it's great. You don't have big clunky stools to have to do something with. These just tuck right out of the way. I just think that is so cool. So you got a sofa here. Now these are recliners, all right? And they're electric. I know we're plugged in, but I'm not sure everything's on. Um, the actual seat part is manual, but you do have massage and, and lighting and some other things in here, okay? But they're very, they're very comfortable, okay? Now, these do not fold out to be a bed, if I remember correctly, because it's just like theater chairs. Let me see this one here. Yeah, so these are just sort of like a theater chair setup. So you can either sit four people or sit two with, well, this nice huge thing in between you. <laughs> if you're all having a fight, you can separate, but still watch TV comfortably. Okay. All right, so there's also some electric in here, right, and USB, so if you need to plug stuff in, if you're working on your computer, there's an outlet right there for you, which is awesome, okay? Right across from this is the TV. Usually looks to be 50, 55 inch, okay? Beneath it, I've got a Jensen audio system pre-mounted. That's what's powering the speakers outside too, obviously. Um, is there a DVD player in there? I think there's a DVD player. Yep, DVD player as well. And beneath it, of course, the fireplace, which my wife absolutely loves. Um, there is storage all around up top. Now, my wife might have trouble getting up there, but it's tall man storage. But there's plenty of storage up top, y'all. All right, so speaking of Lisa, her favorite area, believe it or not, is the kitchen. So we'll let her tell you about the kitchen. 
Well, come on in the kitchen. Um, yeah, this is kind of neat. I, I like having the, the little island here that you can use um, if you need to for prep space, but you also have plenty of counters. Yeah, you really do. You really do. Yeah. This is kind of neat that the, the sink is at, you know, this angle with the, the countertops around it, but I like it. It allows for great flow. Flow, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've got, you can have people sitting here while you're in the kitchen cooking. Um, we have a nice big refrigerator freezer here. Look at nice. this. Nice, yeah, that side is, by side. Yeah. This isn't as deep of a refrigerator as some of the, the larger ones. Like the well, this this is not a residential. This yeah. is a, an RV refrigerator. It's, it's Norgold, so yeah. it'll work on either propane um, or um, electric. Right, so that is very nice. Um, like that. Um, over here, we do have a three-burner stove. We have an oven. Below it, there's a storage yeah, that's nice. Let's see, we have a microwave. This is a convection microwave. Convection! Yes, with some storage overhead. Yep. Speaking of storage, there's lots of storage over here too there in the is. sink area, I, right? Yeah, I didn't talk about any of this, but yeah, there's there is just a ton of storage yeah, everywhere. Different drawers. Yeah. So I mean, you can hold a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. You really can. Trash can. Oh, there's cutting board in there too. Oh, nice. That's uh, what would go on top of there. Yeah. Is that nice? Yeah. Nice. For those of you down here, this, here's your uh, power panel. Um, this is your 12 volt and um, your 110, right? Your regular AC. It's all in one panel, which is nice. So it's all right there. And also up ahead, uh, um, over, overhead, not up ahead, overhead, we have the little. Uh, There's like little nooks, right? Little, all right, so you can put some decorations and knickknacks and stuff like that. Ooh. Now, speaking of being up, there's actually a bunk up here, all right? So, um, yeah. I'm not sure how you get up there. <laughs> I'm pretty tall, it would need a pretty tall ladder, but uh, yeah, there's actually a little bunk space up there. So for those who have little kids and things, um, that's a great little hideaway. Speaking of bunks, we're gonna come out here to the toy area. So we're in the toy hauler part. Now, obviously when you're transporting something, these benches or beds, if you will, fold up to the side. Once you have all the toys out, you can convert them into sofa-like benches like this, or they both can lay flat and become one nice bed, which is also cool. Now there's yet another bed up there, and you can see that's on a, um, a rail type system where you just hit a button and, and it'll come all the way down, right? So you can sleep plenty of people out here. So before I turn around, we'll keep on walking forward. So these are actual doors and screens so if you want privacy, if you want to keep the AC in, you can keep those closed. But if you're in a, a nice place and the weather is awesome, you can just leave it out and you have an extension of your space. There is an awning back here. So you can actually put that out as well, which is, again, it's just really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. So there's a TV back here as well. So if you have people sleeping back here or living back here, there's some entertainment for them. There's some cabinetry up here as well. So you can store some things. There's a neat little cubby. Lisa, you wanna unlock that? There's this neat little storage cubby. Just twist, there you go. This is where the ladder is kept. I was talking about a ladder for in there. Th this is where the ladder is to get up there. But it's also the ladder if you want to climb up on this as well. But it's it's mostly used uh, for getting into that bunk that's, uh, that's in that other room. But you can store some extra things up here, which is great, right? They're just making use of the space. All right, so it's behind here. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Tom and Toilet Test. Ah! Okay, for those who don't know, I am six foot four. Again, six foot four. So use my height as reference as we're walking through the RVs. As you can see, I've got plenty of room. I'm in a toy hauler that has a separate bathroom that I fit in with no problems. So this is definitely As you can see, there's also a little bit of sink here, which is great. There's a medicine chest. Uh, again, for the tall people, uh, I can really see from about my, my Adam's apple down. So you'd have to duck a bit, but I mean, that's really not a big deal. Okay, there's some storage down here as well. Um, there is a fan up here, it's, it's a max fan. There, there's actual power for it here. And so um, you don't have to worry about trying to get up there to crank it open or whatever, there's, there's switches for it here, all right? 
So uh, let's go ahead and uh, go up to the front. Oh yeah, here's the other bathroom. All right, well, we already did the tall man test uh, little, uh, little video thing, so we're not gonna do that again, but I'm sure you can tell there's plenty of room on this as well. So for being the main bathroom, obviously plenty of room, so this is also. <laughs> We got two thumbs up already. That's amazing. Just to my left here is another little corner sink, which is really cute. Um, I like the faucet. Oh, the water's on. Oh, I didn't know the water was on. So a cute little faucet, okay? Um, there's also a medicine chest. Um, I can see from the bridge of my nose down. So you just have to scooch down a little bit, okay? Um, but there's plenty of place to, to put your uh, private things up in there. Um, there's also some storage down here. What this bathroom does not have is a place to put your towels there's no place to put your towels i just i don't know it's a bathroom it needs towels all right so uh let's climb in the shower uh, you know what i've talked about these doors a lot as you can see that was a bit challenging to get in because there's just a little bit of space and there's a bench back there so when you're driving this is the position it needs to be in because it's how it's locked but when you get where you're going you could easily have it sitting down there. This particular one works good to do that, and then you can just get in and get out much easier, okay? Now, for, for you tall people again, go on up. There we go. All right, so as you can see, my head is up in the bubble. I'm about four, five inches away from the top of the bubble. So being six foot four, if you're six foot nine, you could fit in the bubble, okay? Any taller than that, you have a little problem. Um, it's a little cramped in here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this way is not too bad. This way, um, I, I'm literally, my, my elbows are rubbing the door and the wall. It's a little tight, it's not bad, it's just a little tight. You know, you're in here washing and, and, and you, uh, see where my elbow goes, I'm trying to wash my hair. I have to wash my hair like this. You just have to change how you normally do things, right? Normally you'd face the shower head, this time you have to go to the side. So I'm not gonna give it a thumbs up, not gonna give it a thumbs down, but this would just create some challenges for us tall people, right? If you're normal size, right? You know, it's just, I don't know, 5'7", 5'8", 5'9", be great. But my height, a little challenging, okay? So let's go into the bedroom, Lisa, which is right here. There's two doors into the master room. Master room. There's two doors into the master room. Woo, my, my, my words aren't coming today. Shall we try that again? All right, so welcome to the master. All right, so nice, uh, I'd call this uh, an RV king. It's bigger than a queen, but not quite a residential king. All right, there's some storage underneath. If you need to keep some stuff up underneath there, you can do that, which is nice, okay? Then across from the bed, there's a little sort of dresser. I got two drawers here. All right, let's see, does that go up? No, that does not. As you can see, there are shades in here, right? They're just uh, night shades. A lot of the RVs we look at have day night shades. This is just um, a night shade. There is a TV mounted up top too, already there, which is great. And then over here, you've got a closet that spans the whole thing. This one, if you wanted to do a washer dryer combo, that's where your washer dryer combo would go, right in there. And so, and you know, if you full time and, and you want to have washer and dryer on board, you, you can do the combo unit. You couldn't do a stackable, but you could do um, the washer dryer combo, which would then leave all this space for all of your hanging stuff, right? So there's actually, look at this, Lisa. I wonder, since that opened, if you could actually do a washer dryer side by side. I bet you could do that. I bet you could. I bet you could. Yeah. Yep. If not, you've got more closet space. Me? To have more closet space, I would probably do the washer dryer combo myself, yeah? That way there you have all this extra space in here for, for personal things. Because if not, then you've got just this one little closet, right? So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you use a washer dryer combo? Or would you uh, do two separate ones and, and have a little bit more storage space? Let us know in the comments below, all right? Guys, again, if you found us for the first time, thank you so much for stopping. You know what to do. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, become part of the, uh, the YouTube family of ours. We call it the Tall Man Clan. For all of you Tall Man Clan out there, God bless you guys. We really do love you. And we're in California. We've made it all the way to the West Coast. Stay tuned to see where else we go. All right? Until we see you all again, be safe.